Hey, how's it going guys? Zach Cox here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be diving deep into the waters of San Andreas and North Yankton and taking a look at all of the underwater bodies that we can find within Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, what makes this very interesting and creepy is the fact that knowing that there is more than just airplane wrecks, shipwrecks, and sea creatures and wildlife in the oceans of GTA 5 and San Andreas, which San Andreas, of course, is the state that makes up all of the GTA 5 map. That's very eerie, and it makes the ocean a very mysterious and scary place to go and visit within GTA 5. Now, there are, believe it or not, nine different underwater bodies in San Andreas and in the Pacific Ocean that we can visit in GTA 5, but unfortunately, eight of these bodies are the same and only one is different and if we actually take a look at the eight bodies that are the exact same we know for a fact that these are the victims of the infinite eight killer one of the very prominent and biggest mysteries within gta 5 and these were dumped just off the coast of Polito bay just on this little peninsula with eight different islands and we can explore and visit each island and find a body in almost every single location there are eight of them in total and they are all the same they're wrapped up they're preserved the only thing that we can see is hands and feet and in some cases the top of the head just depending on the angle that you look at these bodies at so it's very interesting and it's very creepy and what makes it even more weird is the fact that these bodies are not just glued to the ground they're not there just as part of this mystery they can actually move depending on how you hit them and what angle you touch them at they will roll over and just move so that's very creepy but it's very very cool at the same time like i mentioned before i have always had just a fear of the waters of gta 5 and going in them because just the fear of the unknown man in video games i've always just had that that just fear of being out in the water now we're getting off topic here but moving on the one body that is different in gta 5 can actually be found down the coastline a little bit near fort zancudo and unfortunately this is exclusive only to ps4 xbox one and pc users who previously played gta 5 on the last generation consoles and this is the body of a woman that was involved in a murder mystery that actually involved solomon richards and many other prominent movie producers in Los Santos. So this is very cool. We actually see this woman. She has a bag over her head. It's tied. She is wearing a black dress, a black skirt. She has her hands tied behind her back. She's wearing black gloves. And she also has cement shoes. And cement shoes were actually, or it is actually a style of death, I guess you could say, used by the mob. Or it was used by the mob to... Uh, essentially kill off their victims and uh, get rid of them forever you you just dry their feet in cement and you sink them to the bottom of any body of water and they have no way of ever getting back to the surface so this is a very creepy body to check out probably the creepiest one in game due to the fact that we can actually see the hands move depending on where the current is coming from in the water so it's just very very scary to actually see this body in the water and to come across it if you guys didn't even know about the murder mystery of course so that's very awesome and i actually want to give some honorable mentions to some other underwater bodies found within GTA 5 and also within the GTA series. Now, at the beginning of GTA 5 in the prologue that takes place in North Yankton, if we actually get off of the road just a little bit, we can actually see underneath a bridge and frozen in a little river is an alien. And this is once again just another cool feat that we can see within GTA 5. Now, this isn't an underwater human body but it's an underwater frozen alien body, so that's very awesome. And moving on to Vice City, I want to give an honorable mention to this game, of course. In Vice City, we can find in two different locations a man underwater, just a chubby man with a mustache wearing cement shoes as well. And in both locations, they're the same model. So it's just a little Easter egg that Rockstar did throw into the game way back in 2002, of course. But it's still, once again, an underwater body. And it's very awesome, and I figured it should make this video. So to my knowledge, these are actually all of the underwater bodies that we can find 
within the GTA series. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you're now going to go check out some of these underwater bodies within GTA 5, definitely be sure to leave a like rating down below. It's always greatly appreciated and helps out tremendously. As well as don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter for some more daily Grand Theft Auto content on my channel. And with that said and out of the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will see you all in the next video.